The views expressed in the interviews and commentary are solely those of the individuals providing them and do not reflect the opinions of the Entrepreneur Business Community Show, South Point Telecom, or the South Point Marcellus Shale Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to NRG USA. Our website is nrgusa.com. That's N as in November. A show dedicated to all aspects of energy, ranging from wind to oil and gas drilling. And now, here is our host, Don Hoder. Hi, this is Don Hoder, and you're listening to Energy USA. And this is a program dedicated to energy products and services that are available throughout the area. And that can range from uh, wind uh, generating uh, electric all the way to the, the Marcellus Shell and Utica Shell, which we're all hearing so much about. And uh, today I have with me Tejas Gosai. And Tejas, uh, how are you doing? Hey, hey, good. Thank you good. very much. Good uh, it's good to be here. here. Good to Glad see you. Glad you could be here. And by the way, this is broadcast from our studio here in South Point overlooking the uh, golf course. So yes, we, and uh, all the corporate buildings all over the place. We are literally can go, uh, we can step outside the studio doors here and uh, within five minutes walk up to five major energy companies. Sure, you got Range, all these other... Uh, Range, Chesapeake, Chesapeake, not to mention them all. Range, right, right, right. Consol Energy, Rice Energy. Energy. Yeah. Did I get all of them? If I didn't get them, please join our chamber. Right, right. Well, hey, <laughs> then that, we'll mention your name. That's that's why. Uh, thank you um, very much to you and your listeners and uh, everyone here. Um, it's great to be the first guest, but um, I'm excited to talk about energy. It's sure. it's a fun. Um, topic and there's so much going on you can never never really get rid of it everyone leaves their lights Every, lights on continuously <laughs> did you notice that yeah. um, and, and the interesting thing is that Tejas's background segues into the energy business very nicely because uh, you uh, after going through Catholic school went to Penn State Law School maybe you could tell us a little about that sure uh, I grew up in the southwestern region of Pennsylvania and um, I guess I'm a Pittsburgher I'm a Yinzer yeah. um, but I grew up around here went to Catholic school, went to Seton LaSalle High School, graduated, got a good education, and went to Ithaca College. Um, spent a little bit of time there, and while while I was there, I actually took a class called Data Flow Diagrams, and I'll never forget it because that is why I'm. At, I'll, I'll segue to why I led to energy with that. But um, when I went to law school, I. I went an unconventional route. I took some internet law classes and did some different things with uh, oil and learned a lot about mineral rights. And uh, afterwards, I worked for uh, a pretty big company called Preet doing lease abstraction. Which, oh, gee, that's yeah, right. Yeah, ironically, which goes right into this. Well, and then when I when I moved home, my family's in the hospitality industry, and I had to wear a couple different hats. Now you're, you're also your dad's a physician, right? My dad's a physician. We're, we're kind of all over, but yeah. um, but basically, right now uh, with with uh, uh, my father being a physician, we have our hotels. It's the Best Western and Holiday Inn in Bentleyville, Pennsylvania. Uh, our hotels were distressed. And it was 2008, and there was nothing. We didn't know what was going on. It was a very tough time. No one was booking rooms. No one was booking rooms. The economy was crashing. You're a businessman. Right. Uh, yeah, it was happening it, to us. Yeah, it was the, 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 arguably, it was the worst time for hotels for a 10-year period. So what led into that was the Marcellus Shale. And I guess that is really what sparked our uh, development. We have a website called the MarcellusShale.com, the UticaShale.com, and uh, you will see the South Point Chamber on our website. We have links uh, together. Links together. We have information. We're a data aggregation resource. You can find all your information on energy on there. That's what I'm here to talk about. Some little tidbits about that and uh, get into the good stuff. Well, let's uh, take a break uh, and then we'll be back with you to get some of these questions answered. And you're listening to NRG USA, which is EnergyUSA.com. This is Don Hoder, and we'll be right back. You've been listening to our program and wondering how you can meet other listeners and businessmen in the area. We have two events coming up. One is May 16th from 5 to 7 p.m., and that's an evening of networking, cocktails, and hors d'oeuvres, and that's at Berska Drive in Bridgeville, and you can attend that by going to shopsouthpoint.net. That's shopsouthpoint.net, and click on the free event. Also, we have a networking lunch, which is May 24th, and that's at Balaceras, and that's located just outside of South Point, May 24th, 1130 in the morning. This is a lunch, and it'll last for an hour or two, depending on how long you want to stay. And you can also go to South Shop, southpoint.net. That's S-H-O-P, 
S-O-U-T-H-P-O-I-N-T-E. That's an E on the end, dot net. That event is $13 for members and only $25 for non-members. We'll see you at both events. If you want to be in the mainstream of information in the gas and oil energy industry, you want to read South Point Marcellus Shale Magazine. This magazine is published by the South Point Chamber of Commerce, located in the South Point Industrial Park. South Point Marcellus Shale Magazine offers full-color gloss advertising space for as little as $990 per issue. This full-color publication is distributed in the 55 buildings at South Point with access to 250 energy-related readers in South Point. Ads range from hotels and restaurants to gas well subcontractors with informative articles in South Point Marcellus Shale Magazine. Read the magazine online at southpointmag.com. Call Terry to discuss your company advertising strategy at 724-873-7777. This is a great opportunity to get your company in front of the decision makers in the gas energy business with South Point Marcellus Seal Magazine. Call 724-873-7777. This is Don Hoder, and we're back at Energy USA, and this program is focusing on energy, all aspects of energy. And I have with us uh, today, Tejas Kasai. And, How are you, Don? Uh, good, good. And uh, after that break, we got a chance to talk about some of the ideas that we want to present to you as a listening audience. And I guess my first question, uh, Tejas, would be, how does this whole energy thing, which is the Marcella shell, I hate to use the word thing, but whatever you want to call it, it's a thing. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a monster. <laughs> it's a monster. How does this thing uh, work for, uh, uh, for the businessman and the listeners uh, in the uh, audience that are, that are tuned into the show and they're asking, what, what, what's my opportunity in this? Where do I get in on this? And we're talking about the whole gambit, which is Marcella Shell, Utica Shell, the oil, the gas, mm-hmm. the drilling, the pipes, mm-hmm. the, all the information. How does that get to me, the listener, and how is it going to affect me? Well, that is a great question, especially to start this new great show, NRG USA. So energy. It is in our veins. We, over the past hundred years, have been used to leaving the light switches on, uh, leaving our computers on standby, even though though it uses 80% of the energy. Um, TVs waiting for remote signals uh, takes up a lot of energy, all these different things. And we take it for granted. Well, coal, natural gas, wind, the renewable, solar, all of these different forms, nuclear, let's not forget Westinghouse nearby, all of these different forms have been fueling our country. But let's not forget, it's a world. We have energy everywhere and there's countries that import export another example we have a guest on the show later on today who's uh, uh sylvester and uh, vena technologies is specializing in switching you from incandescent to the uh to the gas field lights to the led lights oh yeah you'll be on later well and hopefully we're getting smarter as a generation and you know you the listener and me tagus and don have to try to make sure that we're going to do the right thing i think I, I stated earlier but your best uh right as a united states citizen is your right to vote so you want to use your knowledge to make sure that you understand some of these industries and what's going on now with that this region our region pennsylvania Ohio, West Virginia is inundated with natural gas activity. And that's kind of the new big thing. But coal's been around fueling this country for years, especially in this region. Steel is coming back. There's all these different industries. And let me tell you a funny... It's relate, because if you have great energy and inexpensive energy, now you can go back into steel fabrication. Exactly. And and what are the pipes made out of? Steel. Yep, absolutely. Um, so let me, let me answer it now a little bit more specifically. So let me read an article. And although this isn't Pennsylvania, this has to do with Ohio. So drilling inspectors need... Ohio looks to hire as shale play spreads to more counties. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources wants to have 90 inspectors in the field by early next year, up from more than 30 today. Uh, state regulators are scrambling to keep up the Ohio's latest energy push. Now, the reason I mention Ohio is Pennsylvania in the Northeast, all these regions, we've seen a lot of the benefit over the past couple years, and now we're seeing it shift a little bit, but we have to be cognizant because we don't want Uh, this economic development to leave our region. So with that, yes, you can get a job in the industry. But then again, let's talk about something weird. Let's talk about haircuts. 
Uh, you, you got good hair, Don. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> I, I have the back and the top thinned out so that I look older. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, with the with, with, with the reason I mentioned haircuts is there's there's uh, b- people who have barber shops near some of these regions that are inundated with Marcellus shale activity, Utica shale activity, and I'm going to stress to go to our website, the Utica shale, the Marcellus shale dot com. But they Utica shale. Well, slow down. I sorry. have to write that down. Utica. Shell.com. The T H E Utica Shell.com or the Marcella Shell.com. We've looked at companies over the past couple of years. They literally changed their hours of operation to cater to some of these energy markets. When they do that, it can be something as simple as a catering facility. If they cater on the rigs, uh, it could be the the barber. Well, I understand just catering alone. There are a few uh, a few locally that have uh, done twenty, thirty thousand dollars on top of their existing sales just to go out to these sites and yes, deliver food. That's a fact, and we can confirm it. We ran a story on our website about uh, Frank Puskaridge, who owns Hogfathers, and he. I don't know how much he makes, but it's a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Uh, they play, yeah, they played about a hundred meals before eleven o'clock, and then go out to a rig and deliver it. And and the reason I mentioned the the barbers is that you know the the hair cutting industry has some difficult times, and we've all seen it. But they change their operations to go with the drilling cycles. So these, hours of operation. Exactly. Uh-huh. These these guys come into the shop at seven hey, p.m. Let's get a mobile van. And have a mobile barber shop that goes out to the rigs. Yeah, let's that's a genius that. idea. Don't, don't don't put that on the radio. We're starting another <laughs> business here related right. to Marcella Shell. Well, that's <laughs> the beauty in it, though, and and and, mm-hmm. and it doesn't have to be just one thing or another or entrepreneurially. The universities, the schools, the switching curriculum, exactly the chamber of commerce, um, all us. all these different things. And and let's let's distill it for a second in, in another level. There's continuing education. There's all these different uh, industry folks that never thought they could get into a career. Actually, a lot of them don't know that they're even in it. I, I, I happen to have uh, Dr. Sikowski on our show, uh, actually on our lunch uh, at the Chamber of Commerce events, which we hold. By the way, let me just stop and throw a commercial Oh, yeah, throw in. a commercial in there. Go to southpointchamber.com and click on event, and you'll see two or three events this month. But in talking to Dr. Sikowski, who was a guest, of ours, uh, his business multiplied because the people that are drilling gas oil, guess what? They need his services. Of course. And he's going to be on the show too uh, uh, later on. Uh, not this show, but in future shows, we'll have people like uh, Dr. Sikowski on. But go ahead. No, let me interrupt Well, well let, me, let me throw in one more thing. Let's talk about the environment for a second, because we have to drink water. We care about what's going on. We want to make sure that we preserve our environment. And all of energy, if you're going to do, if you have any type of energy, if you're putting up a wind turbine, you may, you may kill a bat or a bird or something. Well, the National Association for the Preservation of Bats would right. be happy about that. Well, I, I mean, I, I, it's, it's yeah. kind of funny, but like, this is where a lot of misinformation comes from. No matter well, what, when you let have... Let me stop you. Yeah. We'll come right back to further our talk about National <laughs> Sorry, Association of heated. Bats and other folks. Energy USA. EnergyUSA.com. This is Don Hoder. We'll be right back with Tejas Kasai. Want to be a guest on our show? Our program focuses on your successful ideas and concepts as they relate to our listening audience. We'd like to know more about your personal life and how you chose your career. Someone said, a compelling story, told to the right listeners in an exciting, truthful way, leads to success that is helpful to all. Be a guest on our show by contacting our program manager, Don Hoger, at 724-873-7777 or email at don at southpoint.net. The South Point Marcellus Shale Chamber of Commerce invites you to become a member of this 15-year-old organization. Call now and get a $25 free gift certificate to one of 25 restaurants in the Pittsburgh area. To join, go to southpointchamber.com or call 724-873-7777. That's 724-873-7777. And welcome back to Energy USA and EnergyUSA.com is our website, and this show is dedicated to all aspects of energy. We left off uh, just talking to uh, Tejas Gosai about uh, the environmental impact of uh, energy and, and how that plays out in our daily lives. Sure. And 
Um, I was a little bit heated. I'm sorry. It gets strong on Energy USA, but <laughs> you're talking about energy. So a lot, there is misinformation out there, and that's what actually sparked our websites, the MarcellaShield.com, the UticaShield.com, trying to get the information out there properly. So we looked at both sides of the industry, all sides of the industry, and we saw that there, one, actually there has never been a recorded um, or produced case of... Um, well contamination from a hydraulically fractured well. Really? Yeah. And, uh, why a documented so case. Much, a documented case. So there's there's people that have um, faucets that they can light on fire, but that's a different cause. It's not that. Or they could have done that before the exactly. Drillers. Came. Or it could have been a shallow well. You know, it's kind of interesting. And I'm in the IT business too, and uh, it's amazing how people will try to correlate an event with an event that are totally unrelated. totally unrelated. And and, and a, a person could have a well that has been contaminated for the last 15 years, mm -hmm. but because they see a well site being drilled, suddenly they get their water tested for the first right. time and discover it's contaminated. Well, it's been contaminated. They just didn't realize it. So these, in defense of the drillers, and there's a balance to all of this, um, they get blamed for everything as soon as they come to town. Definitely. Well, and let's yeah. talk about that, though. The, the, the overarching theme that I try to put out there is we need energy, and we have to be smart about it. You can't shut off 50% of this country's energy and expect it to survive. It or will be die. codependent on other nations. Exactly. Are, We're importing so much. That are literally, a lot of people don't realize that when you write billions of dollars to some of these countries overseas, they're buying billions of dollars of weapons. Wow. <laughs> To come right I didn't back think, at us. Okay. I didn't think you'd say that. So we're, yes, we're you're funding, exactly we're, right. We're uh, we're fueling crazy. we're fueling an, an unnecessary need for a, a, a Not fuel to source. The billions that leave our economy. Exactly, the, yeah. and people die over this. People die over oil, and that shouldn't be happening. If we could become domestically independent with our natural resources here, this could be a great place. Anyway, that's that's my me standing on a pedestal for a second and saying that stuff. But we do have to preserve the environment. We do need to test our water. We do need to make sure that there's environment regulations that the EPA pushes through, uh, you know, and hopefully it's an equitable solution. In, in, in terms of the billions, maybe trillions of dollars of energy that we have, the the cost to keep the controls in effect are really not, they're minuscule. They're not it, but right now what we're dealing with is misconception and fear that has been perpetuated by certain groups of people. Yeah. And and you know what? There's profit in that. Sorry to say. I was it. just going to, you just There's, took the word. I say, so it's profitable for us to organize these yeah. folks. Well, and, and that's what we're doing right now. Energy USA. Look, and what we do at the Marcellus, the Utica Shale, it's to educate everybody. Well, we were at, uh, you and I were at the Midstream Conference, and that brings in the fact that the Doug Conference is coming up around the corner. Hard energy. Hard energy. And what's Doug stand for? I keep forgetting. Uh, uh, digging underground. <laughs> digging underground. I actually think that's what it is. <laughs> well, um, so they have these enormous conferences about the energy industries and, and mainly focusing on natural gas. They go to the different shale plays. And of course, our region has become a large shale play now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and and the interesting thing about that is when we were leaving, there was a group of protesters outside. Oh, did you take pictures? We, we no, have I didn't get a chance. We to. have pictures on the website, so check it out. Do you really? Oh, yeah. We, we we try to make every uh, one of the events. What the, was their point? Were they throwing shovels at you or something? Um, like, what, what, there what was, was there was a lot of a lot of the signs. One of them said, and I can't say it on radio, but um, <laughs> fracking, and then a lot of funny words after the word fracking, which uh -huh. is very easy to put a pun on. But uh, you know, a lot of it was was um, just stop ruining the water. I can't drink, um, you know, out of the faucet. A lot of it was more water control. And that's, that's missing. That's, yeah, that's just it, misinformation. It, it a funny analogy. I had a lady that said, <clears throat> I would not be a part of any, any group or organization, chamber of commerce that has anything to do with the uh, uh, Marcella shell or the uh, fracking uh, signed by an owner of a beauty shop who is putting chemicals on and, people's heads every day. In well, fact, you can't even go to uh, have your hair dyed. Well, and, and, and that's the thing. Is that amazing? It is you amazing. Think about it. You, you have to get you know. everyone on the same level. It's tough to get everyone to understand how, how massive this is. Just And let's just go back to energy. This is an international phenomenon now. And because of Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, web, YouTube websites, all this stuff, people are getting smarter. And when they're getting smarter, they're getting wiser. And if they're becoming wiser, they will 
vote properly. That's 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 the goal. Now, so that's your mission is to educate and inform the general public as to what's. Let's get the facts straight and really get on top of what's happening. Yeah, let me share a couple tidbits. So, sure. um, I don't care what the political uh, agenda is, but we don't have any politicians funding this show. <laughs> so, uh, Obama. Let's talk about our president right now. Uh, who knows if he's going to be around in, a, in in a little bit? But um, Obama's been fighting for these proposals to raise. Taxes for twenty-four billion dollars on oil companies. Raise taxes twenty-four billion. Yeah, somehow there's, there's you know, the federal uh, labor board is hampering with all of these different um, regulations. Um, but there's, they're being people are being responsive in this. Um, that, that's just one little tidbit, and I'm so not going to go probably not going to get the big. Uh, the uh, big uh, gas vote. Well, on <laughs> the other him. side, he he is pushing not just Obama, but a lot of the politicians. Senator Casey putting pushing N gear, which is the natural gas energy something something. It's basically to give folks credits to convert their fleets of vehicles and things like that. Let's stop right there. Uh, I, I our chamber, the I might as well plug that to South Point Marcella Shell Chamber of Commerce. We have been called about putting natural gas filling stations in. Um, uh, is a is just an idea to move forward with this energy idea. Have you sure. heard anything about that? I actually have heard a couple things. There's a lot of p folks that I haven't heard about that specifically, but in the region, there's a lot of people that are realizing that CNG and having a refueling station is the next step. You, you can reduce your cost significantly. It is two bucks for a gallon equivalent of natural gas CNG in your car, compressed Hold natural thought. gas. I want to know if I have to drag a bunch of bottles behind me in a U-Haul trailer. No, no. <laughs> no how no. this is going to work. And uh, we'll be right back with you. This is NRG USA, Don Hoder and Tejas Kosai. We'll be right back. South Point Telecom Technology produces and records this show. South Point Telecom Technology specializes in audio, video, print, web publication, and social media marketing. Our total multimedia approach connects you to the decision makers. Call now for a free consultation on how we can put your business in the right place at the right time. Go to the website southpoint.net or call 724-873-7777 and ask for Mike, our technology director. That's South Point Telecom Technology. 724 Eight seven three seven 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 seven. The South Point Marcella Shale Chamber of Commerce invites you to become a member of this 15-year-old organization. Over 200 business leaders attend our breakfast, lunch, and evening events, giving you an excellent opportunity to meet others at South Point. Annual dues are only $225, and that includes invites to free events, one half off on paid events, and priority email VIP invitations. As a new member, you will get an opportunity to publish your company news on southpointchamber.com website. We include a free one-hour consulting session on how to market to the energy and South Point businesses. Call now and get a $25 free gift certificate to one of 25 restaurants in the Pittsburgh area. To join, go to southpointchamber.com or call 724 Eight seven three seven 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 seven, and ask for Vic. Again, call seven two four eight seven three seven 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 seven. And welcome back to Energy USA, and that's N as in November. NRGUSA.com. If you want to see more information, you can actually watch and listen to this show uh, on NRGUSA.com. And we're back to, uh, we're talking here with uh, Tejas Gosai, and we left off asking the question about uh, gas, bottled gas, natural gas, and can I run my automobile on that? And there are people calling in our chamber and asking, will there be natural gas filling stations? And just uh, how does that play out? So let's take a over, an overarching approach first. Uh, drilling with the natural gas industry has taken off over the past 10, 15 years uh, like crazy. And we're m very much more, probably eight to 10 times more efficient in producing compressed natural gas, which is different than liquefied natural gas, which is LNG. But CNG can go right into a vehicle that is converted to be able to take that. And you said, are you going to have bottles? Yeah, am I going to have a U-Haul dragging bottles behind right. me? Or how much room 
does this take, take. Uh, relative to my gas tank that's on my car? Is this a practical thing to do? So the a lot of the trucks out there that are CNG vehicles, right behind the uh, cab in the front, there's a large container that holds uh, roughly a four foot by two foot diameter uh, so it looks like a toolbox. Looks like a toolbox, exactly. Uh -huh. And that is the compression uh, chamber that holds the So CNG. it works a little better with uh, trucks and maybe SUVs than it would with a two-seater sports car. <laughs> yes, but at the Unless same... Unless you don't want a trunk. Right. At the, at the same time, though, let's talk about the fact that you'll get uh, $2 natural gas equivalent in gasoline so you can make it just as far for half the amount of money which is why it makes sense to convert now, now i hear that the fill up time might be different because you're pumping compressed rather than pouring liquid into your vehicle. it is different it, it takes longer um, it, it takes a little bit longer depending upon what type of cng refueling station you have uh, some of them are obviously dedicated to fleets and filling them up uh, at the night or in the morning and they can just zap them so I'll another entrepreneurial idea we'll put them out in front of bars and restaurants great <laughs> so, yes yeah. so, so you can <laughs> pump up and then get your car later pump up and get pumped up. well let me share some of the um uh emission stuff so c compressed natural gas and using cng reduces carbon monoxide by 70 to 90 percent it, re re it reduces uh, nitrogen oxide by 70, 75 to 95 percent, and it reduces non-methane hydrocarbon emissions by 50 to why, 75. Why aren't we, or our government, or some agency really pushing to do this, is my question. Mm -hmm. uh, well, here, here's the main reason. So, 30 years ago, we tried this as a nation. We, at one point, were going to hopefully start using natural gas. And uh, the other forms of energy really took over. It was cheaper, it was easier. Because the system wasn't there. You need the pipelines, you need to get it to the vehicles, you need the cars to do it. Asia and India, almost entire states and regions run on CNG. Every single Sunoco, imagine, that you go to has a CNG um, refueling station there. So if we can create this system, not only can we save the environment. So it's invariably going to come. And, well, in very, but when's it going to happen, right? Every president for the past hundred years has said, we're going to have dom domestic independence when it comes to energy. Never well, happens. I, I think that the exciting thing about this, uh, the, this program and, and, and the whole aspect of this is finally we see, although the technology has been around for a while, finally we see an opportunity where people are going to take the ball and run with it yes. and move forward in this I, and, and and now is the right time it's almost going to show up in the history books as a, as a as a milestone we're at the tip tip yeah. tip of the iceberg with what's actually going to take place in this it's, country it's the biggest thing since al gore invented the internet <laughs> definitely <laughs> listen it's check out check out our website and you can see all the cng information we have pictures of vehicles we have well pads we have all that it's the marcellusshale.com t h e and the U UticaShale.com. We actually can help you close your mineral rights also. We work sure. with lawyers. We work with uh, financial advisors. We had real estate no, that on there. That brings up a good question. Have you thought about switching to uh, being a, a, a specialty lawyer in the gas uh, oil industry? Well, I'm actually or, or not. Are having too much fun doing I'm, this? I'm having a lot of fun with this. Um, and also, uh, quite frankly, I, I never really wanted to practice law. I went to law school and I wanted the knowledge and the information, but my goal was uh, to kind of build, I like systems, and I think I think we're get with uh, smartphones. With you love the internet. You're the most advanced. Oh, we have uh, all. I, I, I want to say older gentleman, if that's okay. I think you could say that. <laughs> but no, but you, you, you type faster than me. Um, and, and it's, that's it's, because when I went to high school, we took typing. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Nobody knew that the when computer. we took typing that that was going to be keyboard accessible. Well, you no, know, you have an IT yeah. company. You know a lot. Yeah, of, you know sure. you have this website mm -hmm. stuff. Well, here's the thing: people are getting smarter. People are getting wiser. And with that, we can change the world. That's that's really what it comes down to. Another new company, Old Man IT. <laughs> <laughs> old Man, New Man. The old Man, New Man. There you go. That, uh, that'll yeah. work. But I, I appreciate you you know, forming this website, uh, forming yeah. this radio show at, at Energy USA. Yeah, let's talk about it and, and get people engaged. Hit, right. uh, hit our Twitter, hit our Facebook, well, email uh, Don. A dear friend of mine, Mark Mascara, who was an attorney and uh, since passed away out of W&J, he and I shared a lot of uh, work together there. He actually uh, said, you want to become a lawyer so that, be, so that 
you can become a great businessman. It would make <laughs> Don't sense. Don't practice law. If that you if you know how not to break the uh, rules. <laughs> hey, I, I have uh, I have a signal again, and uh, we'll come back and uh, finish out with a couple highlights that I'm sure our listeners will want to hear. And this is Don Hoder with Tejas Kasai on NRG USA, and we'll be right back. 